Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play this game. Um, Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin. I'm the Serious JG. Mm -hmm. And um, we're at the Sunken Shrine. We are ready to get out there. We're going to get some Dauntless Hose. <laughs> that's, uh, that's worth the effort. We'll also end up getting the Water Crystal. That's probably not as important. Uh, we're starting to get, uh, main item drops, uh, for the Breaker class. So, uh, that is, I, I, I don't know for sure if that means we're at a point in the game where we're expected to have this job, or if it's more like, no, we're just making them based on what you've actually, uh, obtained. Because, uh, I did not do a lot of grinding. I spent, like, one evening, like, maybe two hours of grinding while watching stuff, and then already felt like, Grinding in this game doesn't do that much for you. It, it drops better items, I guess. But, like, once I really find some gear that I think I'm going to be using a lot, then we need to invest in upgrading it. And we haven't done that yet. That might be a thing to do with the difficulty gets too high. In the ruins of Machina, the party encounters a monster clad in heavy armor, but manages to defeat it all the same. Just like the many other foes before it, it emits a haze of black mist upon its death. Understanding that the mist will allow him to see his past, Jed willingly allows it to engulf him in Jack. The two men share an eye identical vision of their first meeting. Perhaps because their memory of it is the same, bit by bit, their past is revealed to them, and bit by bit, they begin to accept it. Their final task, the Fiend of Water, awaits them at the bottom of the sunken shrine. Alrighty. A facility for harvesting the energy of a planet. Not usual in Dimension 7, the place that inspired this particular work. In fact, the harvesting mechanism is modeled in detail here to serve as a safe repository for the water crystal. You Using collected energy as a power source, the crystal was intended to control the waters of this world in an attempt to maintain balance. The great power of the water nourish causes the absorption of too much energy in prayer, however. Regardless of whether good or ill, in the end, excuse me, this will cause the crystal to fall to corruption. And in its fall, it will twist the world to dark ends. Okay, so people praying for good is going to twist the crystal to evil? I guess, maybe. No, oh, I forgot to switch out my party, but it's fine. I've been waiting for this. Same. <laughs> yeah. I have <laughs> just like Jed did. You see, I'm not like you guys. I'm a girl. I was born here in Cornelia. What? <laughs> For the longest time, I couldn't remember how I got this. But then I remember I went to an adult novelty no, store. The one who gave it to me was Astos. Arr, no, no like memories. No talk memory. In the Chaos Shrine. He gave me the crystal and told me I'd be needing it. I took it from him and yielded to the darkness. It was so hot. The next thing I knew, you guys were there. Arr. That sure beats my confession. Yeah, your confession like was lame as fuck. I had been waiting for that moment for a long time. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't remember much anymore. Yeah, well. All I know now is that I want to see this through to the end. And I want it just as badly as you guys do. No, I no. Won't give up. No memory, no you wanting and stuff. We can do this together. Zig Heil. Oh, okay, well, it's Jack that... Weird and you're out. <laughs> yeah, I right. no memories, all right? Memories, I don't like them. All right, team. Let's go beat Bayside High. On three. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, I, I... It... I don't think it took very good writing as a kid uh, when I was playing RPGs to get excited about the characters and into the themes and the stories. But uh, this game don't have it. I don't blame the voice acting per se, although, like, do you remember, if you're, like, an RPG nerd, you probably are, you're not watching this, like, playing Final Fantasy X, like, I really got engulfed in that story, and I really came to love some of those characters. Um, not in a, like, sick way, I mean, like, you know, I knew they were fictional characters, but, like, I really got into their, their adventures. It's not happening here, and the little moments like that help a lot. Like, I want to like these characters, but, uh... I don't know what the difference is between any of them. 
and they're giving us a lot of little scenes. They're just like, I don't know, the writing or the voice acting. One of them is off. I think it's the writing more than the voice acting. But there's a special type of like failed, like there's all these little moments of like a levity where we ha we don't know enough about. We haven't seen enough of the characters interacting outside of combat for the little moments of levity to, to mean anything. Looks like we're in the ocean now. I should have guessed. Where else would the fiend of water be? Yeah. Can I switch party members? Yeah, I'm switch party members around. Uh, we've had them for a couple uh, in a row. Let's bring in uh, Brilliant Dynamite Neon, although she can't, probably shouldn't bring her in, actually. All right, let's do Jed. Uh, usually I'm going with both girls or both boys. Uh, let's do J J Jed and Sophia, because he's got the most leveling up to do. Neon, uh, I'd like to bring her back in, but she's not, uh... ah, what the hell, let's stick with the boys in that case. Yeah, we'll get Sophia going later. Now I'm noticing randomly there's a right and left triggers with these two characters. I guess that's to get them to use their special skills. I should probably be using them much more often. Enemy spot. Up. Can't any more of Black Hood. Ah, shit! Am I out of inventory? Sp I, I, I would have dealt with that between videos if I'd been given any indication. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hold on. Items. Uh. Menu. Select all. All right, looks like we're losing that black hood. Okay. That doesn't free up too much, does it? That frees up a lot. But I'm if I want to do any switching around, I'm going to need to get back to... Can I pull stuff out of storage during... Uh... Here's the question. If I decide, oh, I really want these earrings back. Okay, good. So I can put, I, so I, I don't understand what the storage is used, why they bother with the storage system, other than it means you can only have 600 things with you without needing a save point. and how we can do better next time. Well, I did fine. Shut up. Don't be so critical. There you go. This will be a breeze. Assuming this does nothing right now. Because we hit, oh, we don't have a black card key. All right, Final Fantasy, or sorry, uh, Metal Gear rules apply. 
Need uh, awesome. Uh, I need awesome stacking card key equipment. I thought that was a black card key right there, sitting in the device. I'm going to assume you don't want to hit those. Let's see what happens. Like a mess. Uh -huh. so that's what happens when you apply heat. You shouldn't use fire, right? All right. All right. No, I mean, I think I, I correctly guessed what those were about. I see some cubes over there. I'll check it out. <laughs> I know that song. <laughs> Princess played it on her lute. It's an old song, but it's popular. Everyone in Cornelia knows it. I'm from Cornelia. Did you know that? Oh, no, don't care. Yeah, no, I agree with Jack. I agree with the guru. Um, I heard her playing it on her lute. Uh, she uses it. Oh, actually, the lute is important. Never mind. I was going to make some lame joke about, uh, oh, the lute. You use that to lift the plate and get to Dracula. But no, that's a vampire. But actually, that's not the lute. That's, um, that is the, uh, the rod. I think the lute is the thing that... What does the loot do? I guess it allows you to get from the... It's nothing to do with getting out of the Temple of Fiends of the past and into... Or in the modern day and going to the... I don't remember how the loot actually works, but you get it near the very end of the game. It's like a little... It's not a game that really sets up, like, puzzle solving very well, but uh, at the end of the game... Valio and Sunder. Is it because we destroyed that generator earlier? Maybe. Anyway, it's open, so let's go. Yeah, whatever. This is a door that desperately wants to be open, and only the incredible power of that generator can prevent that from happening. Yeah, but no, Final Fantasy 1 wasn't about, like, problem solving and puzzle solving. It was a tiny little bit just in the sense of, oh, Dr. Un is uh, the guy that from way earlier in the game who was, we didn't do anything with him, so probably we're supposed to do something with him now that we've encountered a village we can't uh, talk to its people. Although I think the game just flat out tells you in a few points. So... If we can find a generator. I'm trying to avoid being in range to get wrecked, and I'm being probably overly cautious. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Jed. Jed. I try to give you plenty of warning, you yeah? know? Help of this guy's no. Okay. Yeah, but there's a thing late, late, late in the game where you get the loot, but uh It's like, you know, Princess Sarah, who hasn't been a part of the story of Final Fantasy for like thirty hours earlier in your let's in your play, you're not your let's play. Suddenly it's like, oh, you need the loot she gave you, but like it's been hanging around in your inventory for the whole game. It's not like you've been actively searching for things to do with it. Go ahead. Like, Time to go to work. Oh, cool. So... Ow. Ow. Makes you suck. Win is a win. So was I supposed to cast a spell at this guy? See what's inside, Jack. Ah! 
Yeah, I knew there was a way to not cast the spell. Nice. So like, oh, it's a generator on the other side of the glass. I was thinking maybe you're supposed to. Maybe magic isn't stopped by glass, but no. Oh. I don't think this door was open before. Unless it totally was. <sighs> okay. I hit the circle button, but I guess that's not a circle button dodge attack. Yeah, you did look like a jerk there when you're going for a regular kill, and then suddenly I burst in with a super powerful charge attack that looked awesome. Alright, let's see about uh, blowing open that door. Ah, see, I'm so smart. A little explosion did all that. How convenient. It wasn't that little. Shut up. Don't mock my explosion. You better not be saying my explosion wasn't awesome. You, you, you. Admit it. You were fully satisfied by the girth of my explosion. Treasure, huh? Black hood, eh? Makes me feel like a real gimp. Sorry. Sorry. Probably a little weird. I apologize. Now there was a door up. There was a door we saw that could only be opened from the other side. That I think we might be heading towards. Ah, crap! Oh shit. Shit, this is it. This is it. Not dead yet. This is really going poorly. Use it up all my heals. Are you down? Like, why can't I get that circle button attack to work on you? What the fuck? I mean, he's, he's like all hunched over and I'm hitting the circle button and nothing's happening and it got me killed. It got me killed, Kakarot. Well, I don't know if that means everything we did is undone because uh, we've gotten pretty far. We had gotten pretty far there, and uh, it was all, uh, I don't know if it, it's, uh, any of that still counts. Enemy spotted. Come on, follow me. So no max MP out of that, because I didn't kill anyone with fancy attacks. It does look like the walls we knocked down, the generators we destroyed are still beaten, though. Treasures we grabbed are still grabbed. The enemies are back. We got company. Let's knock them down. Ow. Yeah. I guess I deserved that. Not 
Not really. Did he say leave it? Why would we leave it? Oh, I don't understand. Never mind. Yeah, I'm, uh... I vacillate wildly between doing well and doing poorly. There doesn't seem to be a lot of in-between. Not great. Wasted a special fancy pants attack and didn't get to finish with it, so... That's all about. Sorry. Drop the ball. You did. All right. We win. Everyone still hanging in there? Okay. Yeah, whatever. All right, so not doing great for max MPs, but we can get back to where we blew it last time and see if we can be smarter. Oh, I should have just used. Should have just plain old used uh, fire magic on the explosive stuff, right? That was stupid, actually. I launched water against her. Anyone else, it would have been more effective. Get out of the way without dying at this point. Let my friends do some damage. Okay. That was rough. We can breathe. We can fight again. Almost blew that one at the last second. But yeah, I should have been like, oh, room full of these fire things. Blow them up. Do a shit ton of damage to the enemies before I enter the room. That's what I should have done. Okay. This is just here to hide a treasure chest. A gigantex? Is that what's in there? See, there's no like cool. Let's go. Damn it! So freaking close to beating that thing. Damn it! Oh! I was trying to... I was trying to get a stupid fancy pants attack and it just... I might have just actually won the fight if I hadn't been trying to get a stupid fancy pants attack. <sighs> Alright. Maybe we can charge past some of these fights that we don't need to do. Let's go. I don't stand a chance. That would be a thing. At least my allies have MP. I don't need them. I don't need MPs, but my allies have them. That's good enough, right? Here I probably should have stopped to fight them because I don't know if I'll get down here without... I don't know if they'll follow me down here. Okay, my allies will, but the enemies won't. See anything following us? Let's get ourselves together. Time for a change. <gasps> 
Does it hate fire? It doesn't seem to give a crap about fire in particular, but... That's ice. That's, I guess, why I thought it might hate fire. Boy, this thing's taking, like, no damage from me. I just literally switched to the wrong button entirely. I was like, all right, hit circle. Oh, but I'm not holding circle. Never mind. <sighs> Fuck. I'm making a real mess of this. I need to, to be, defeat something here. Ow. Yeah, like I didn't get out, like I didn't manage to get anything beaten. Uh out of uh, potions. And this guy keeps uh, healing himself. Let's take one more crack at this. I need to be smarter about how I uh, get that battle started. I uh, wasted MPs doing an attack that that Quirrell did not care about. Uh, don't know what their elemental weakness is. At some point, I hit it with its weakness because um, I saw a weakness appear, but I think that was just while I was doing regular old attacks of some kind. So maybe its weakness is getting punched in the face. Okay, I didn't think they were going to follow us this far. Because I want to not trigger this next room yet. That looks worth picking up. Should be fine here. I could keep going. Hunter Killer Cog. All right. Ah! Here we go, this is a little bit more like it. Alright, so now when we get down to this group, let's try to be not as shitty. We got company. Time to go to work. One, two, three, four. And then completely miss that one. Shit. Ow. Come on! Oh fuck! I was doing good there for a second! Okay. 
Alright, I want to finish off this water elemental. I feel like at some point I used to be able to defeat these guys. And now I can't. Almost out of potions. I don't want to take any chances with failing here. That's why I'm using a potion up. A huge mess of that, but I got the reactor during the fight. Could really use some cubes. Found a spot to rest. Yeah, there There's you go. a dark aura in the air. It's down there. Yeah, baby. We're closing in on the water crystal. <laughs> now let's keep going. That was the plant's butthead. <laughs> Alright, guys. Taking out my frustrations on the in-game NPCs. Dark Knight. Because, um... A job. It's a passion. We need one more point and th three more points total. To get even higher passive, which will only affect anything if I actually switch to the damn job. Void Knight or Tyrant. They're both pretty far away. But Red Mage Affinity is a thing to get. And again, if I ever actually become a Red Mage, that will make a bigger difference. I've got monk stuff. I should probably switch away from that. Um, because, um, yeah, I don't need monk points anymore. It's a jungle out there. Yeah. Nicket, ninja, swordsman, thief, warrior. Is a breaker at 51 would be adrenaline bonus increased damage dealt when near death. Doesn't seem that important, does it? Yeah, I guess I should have gone for equipment level and looked for a job that would be more useful because generally this higher level equipment is going to be more useful for me. So, Dark Knight, this will improve my stats overall. What is this? Tyrant. I don't have that job yet, so. Dark Knight Wisdom. Because now I'm going Dark Knight, baby. Drawing bonus too. Increases damage dealt when near death. Oh, that was Dark Knight. So Breaker, I could push into. If I had something that was giving me like 40, uh, it would be worth uh, the investment. But that's what it would take. It would be 
pretty heavy. Pretty heavy score. All right, let's go ahead and save the game and call it a video. When we come back next time, we will be uh, continuing to search for memories of water. I remember going out on the beach and burning the shit out of my feet. There was water in the vicinity. Thanks for watching, guys.